lecture um, today I'm going to talk very briefly about the important one of the important major criteria for rheumatic fever is known as subcutaneous subcutaneous nodules yes you're right so I'm going to talk briefly about this so it's a kind of a revision for you guys for your examination right so let me start okay remember this SN that is the subcutaneous nodules they're common up to 3 to 30 percent of the patients with a rheumatic fever you can see this okay so remember uh, these are what you call they indicate the late manifestation they, they are in the late manifestation okay and they're seen in the late manifestation right uh, usually appears after weeks okay to months following the throat infection okay following the throat infection it takes weeks or months okay and how long does it gonna last is one to two weeks it gonna last for one to two weeks once they come in so another important thing I would like to tell you that whenever the patient has a subcutaneous nodules so then think that always keep in your mind the patient might be having carditis because carditis because the patients with subcutaneous nodules 95 percent of the patients will have will have carditis associated with that so you need to check for that also right so if you ask me where does these subcutaneous nodules are located what is the location of these lesions uh, they are located on what you call extensive surface of the body okay especially in during examination of the uh, child you should look at the occipital region okay occipital region then behind the ears remember behind the ears okay along the spine you can see along the spine and another important is at the olecranon process of elbow that's the extensive part of the um, arm right so occipital region behind the ears along the spine and the elbow remember in examination during your what you call the practical examination of the clinicals uh, remember you have to look at these four sites for subcutaneous nodules examiner will definitely ask you about this okay and what they are made of or what they contain or how they look on inspection they are firm remember they are painless patient will not have any pain they are painless they are spherical, they are spherical, remember, the firm, painless and spherical, okay, and if you ask me the size, it's a half to one inch, okay, half to one inch in diameter, okay, one inch in diameter, uh, free from overlying the skin and underlying structures and typically appears on, as I said, on the extensor surface. So four regions you need to look for. One is occipital, behind the ears, along the spine, and the olecranon plus of the elbow. Right, guys? So in examination, they will ask you during clinicals that how that he, he may say you that because you are examining this on the occipital region, he will tell you this could be a lymph node. So how would you differentiate that? So the best way to differentiate along with the inspector finding is to take the biopsy remember the biopsy okay if you take at the biopsy of uh, subcutaneous nodule if it's subcutaneous nodule then it contains important as a shaft's body a shaft body very important okay a shaft bodies right guys so these are the important what you call in a nutshell i'm talking about the subcutaneous nodules very big topic but sorry for that okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care